Hi, uh, Jonathan York from Bay Financial Partners, uh, looking at the investment markets. Uh, pretty major news really globally that uh, the G7 countries have come out now with a, a corporate global um, lower rate of uh, corporation tax. That's going to be uh, based at 15%. Now, many people still feel that is too low, but what it does do, it does put a sort of a floor on the sort of corporation tax. In the US, the latest round of uh, jobless data coming out was a little bit weaker than anticipated, but only sort of marginally uh, came in at uh, just over 550,000 uh, new jobs created. The consensus was for 674,000. So although a little bit weaker than anticipated, uh, nowhere near the uh, sort of uh, undershoot um, from the previous month. And certainly the US economy does seem to be gaining a little bit of strength out there, you know, it's gradually sort of starting to reopen, coming into those sort of warmer summer months as well. Um, you know, and it, uh, it, at present, uh, it does look uh, in pretty good shape. Now obviously a lot of this renewed optimism is really on the back of the, uh, the vaccine which is still getting rolled out at a pretty good rate and you know potentially uh, we could see sort of 70-80% of the US population vaccinated by uh, August, September of this year now. Now while international travel is down still quite a bit and um, we are seeing quite a, a major pickup in domestic travel. Also as well, uh, some of the major cruise lines are looking to start running uh, cruises from, from the US uh, sort of uh, end of June, uh, early July. And really what is more interesting out there is certainly the sort of advanced bookings for sort of 2022 um, it is sort of above pre-COVID levels, but also as well at higher prices. Now obviously inflation is still a major concern out there and you know certainly with the pent up demand, you know, you would expect to see a little bit of a pick up inflation. It's just a question of whether it's going to be sort of short term and sort of transitory or whether it's actually going to uh, sort of uh, morph into a more sort of longer term prolonged inflation. Because obviously, certainly if that is the case, and the central banks do have a little bit of a, uh, an issue um, as to when they're going to raise rates and also how uh, quickly they raise rates as well. Interesting as well in the US that, you know, some of the uh, sort of uh, commentators and analysts are starting to talk that, uh, you know, some of the, uh, the, the rhetoric and commentary coming out of the Fed now is potentially preparing the market for the start of the ending of tapering. Now it's obviously when you know, the, the Federal Reserve obviously uh, recently has been buying uh, financial assets to keep sort of interest rates um, you know, sort of low and it's just going to be very interesting to see uh, you know, if this is the case, how the market sort of takes it. Because certainly, you know, once they do start to reduce their asset purchases, the next sort of step is the interest rate increase. But that seems to be a long way off. Now, obviously, on the back of this renewed optimism, our oil is trading pretty strongly out there and it's just shy of uh, 70 bucks a barrel now.
Europe as well, looking to sort of gradually reopen. Uh, you know, they, they certainly had uh, their issues with this sort of third wave coming through. But again, as we sort of head into the sort of summer months, uh, you know, and potentially sort of holiday times, uh, certainly Southern Europe is looking in reasonable shape and, uh, you know, it looks like it should be uh, fully reopened. You guys still making great guns and, you know, really looking to sort of fully reopen the economy now by sort of June. Um, we're starting to see crowds now at sporting events and, you know, gradually life is sort of looking a little bit more like normal. And that is despite a little bit of a flare up with this sort of Indian uh, variant um, that, uh, you know, sort of has, uh, has crept into the UK, but at present they seem to be getting on top of that. A little bit closer to home here in, in Australia, Melbourne. Um, again, you know, they are hoping to come out of their lockdown now on Thursday. Um, certainly cases appear to be sort of waning a little bit, but, uh, you know, still a few less sort of lingering cases in the community out there um, after their recent outbreak. But again, you know, the Australian economy pushing on a pretty good rate, you know, really being driven by the sort of, uh, you know, demand for sort of minerals and uh, uh, resources. Uh, you know, certainly uh, iron ore is, uh, you know, is a sort of major contributor out there and is really pushing on at pretty, uh, pretty near record levels. Here in New Zealand, uh, you know, the good news is that, uh, you know, a further one million doses of the vaccine uh, will be delivered by Pfizer in the next month. Um, that's certainly good news. That potentially puts us up to around two million doses. Um, but apparently, you know, from the data coming through, we still appear to be sort of running behind sort of schedule in the fact that there's uh, probably just under 200,000 people have been fully vaccinated. You know, obviously against a population of 5 million, that's, uh, you know, a little bit underwhelming at present. But in regards to the economy, you know, again, housing is still pushing on at a pretty good rate. Um, you know, it's really quite interesting that, uh, you know, if you look at it, so record low interest rates, limited supply, excess demand, you know, prices aren't really backing off too much. Getting pretty close now to the end of uh, sort of the uh, Kiwi Saver year as well. So you just want to check those balances and make sure you made enough contributions to get that maximum government contribution. Um, if you're unsure on what those levels are, go to the website www.baifinancialpartners.co.nz. Now, obviously, in this low interest rate environment, you know, it is pretty tough uh, for investors who are looking for income. But if you are, you know, there are plenty of alternatives out there. And if you're interested in discussing what is available, so to go to the website www.bayfinancialpartners.co.nz for lots of interesting articles. And we look forward to speaking to you soon.